one of the most important maintenance items on a laser is cleaning the output lens. If your lens is dirty, we could have faded print or even missing print. So you need to inspect the lens often to see if it's dirty. Um, make sure before we inspect the lens that the red light on the marking head is off. That means that the laser is not armed. So make sure the red light is off. If you're able to get to the lens easily, we can just look to see if there's any debris on the lens. Um, if it is dirty, then we will have to possibly remove the lens. If we can clean it by leaving it on, that's great. If we do need to remove the lens on a marking head like this, you turn a quarter to one half of a turn and that lens holder is gonna drop out. Be sure to hold it tightly. This is a delicate component. You don't wanna drop it. And then we can clean the lens using our tools. So if we decide that we need to clean the lens, if we see debris on the lens, then we'll need to use, make sure that we have our safety glasses on, and powder-free latex gloves. Don't use powdered gloves because the powder can uh, wind up on the lens and then we're in a worse position than we started. So we have gloves, safety glasses. We'll also take our lint-free lens wipes. So make sure that they're lint-free. Make sure also that they're in a clean environment when they're stored. We will take one lens wipe fold it several times, trying to touch as little as possible. Fold several times to make a little cushion. And then we can use a solvent, either acetone or methanol or isopropyl alcohol, the highest percentage that you can find. 91% or higher would be the best. Don't use uh, any sort of makeup fluid or cleaning solution from the inkjet printers that we also make. That can damage the lens because it has many other things other than solvent in there that help printers to work, but not your laser to work. So what we'll do, if you haven't already and if you need to, we can take our lens off and we can use here acetone. I'll wet the lens cleaning wipe. And the best way to clean the lens is to work from the center outward and keep alternating where you're holding this little cushion. Why we want to do that is that if we just use a different portion and there's a piece of sand or grit on here, maybe we only make one small scratch on the lens. If we go in circles, we can have large scratches on the lens. So work from the center outward. When you've gone all the way around, we can clean the outer ring of the lens holder. So all the debris that's built up around the edges. Um, take a look at the lens. We may need to repeat that process one more time. Uh, less often, you may also need to clean the inside of the lens. Since that's not exposed, it won't be nearly as often as the outside portion of the lens. Video jet lasers have several types of marking heads. The first one we looked at, in order to remove the lens, you turn a quarter to a half a turn, and no tools are required. We do have some other types of marking heads that may require just an Allen wrench to remove. Here, we have an SHC 100 marking head, and there are two screws that we would remove in order to take the lens out. We've got one and two. And again, be careful not to drop the lens and to hold around the edges so that we don't get any fingerprints on the, on the lens itself. And you use the same cleaning method on this lens that we did on the smaller one. If you think that there's sharp debris or if there's a lot of debris, um, you can use a bulb type air blower on the lens, but
but be careful about using plant air or shop air because you don't want water or oil on the lens. Also, we want to be careful not to use too much pressure to blow any air across the lens because we can scratch the lens.